The City of Austin has scheduled a $90 million mobility bond election for November 2, 2010. Proposed projects include investments in streets, sidewalks, bike paths, trails and transit infrastructure in all parts of the City of Austin. This bond package was developed by city staff working with the community since fall of 2009 to collect, evaluate and recommend priority mobility projects. A City Council appointed Citizens Task Force recommended the bond proposal in July. If these bonds are approved by voters, the debt service is expected to be funded within the current tax rate. No increase in the property tax rate is anticipated. The proposed package includes funding for preliminary engineering, design, construction and reconstruction of Austin Road roadways, funding to repair and install sidewalks, curbs, ramps and gutters and other accessibility projects as part of the Americans with Disabilities Act ADA program, and for bicycle and sidewalk facilities identified in the city's bike plan and sidewalk master plan. Funding for traffic signal system updates including modifying and upgrading existing signals and school flashers and for new intersection infrastructure throughout Austin to manage traffic on city roadways and funding for the city's participation in joint agreements with Travis County, Texas Department of Transportation and other transportation providers to design and construct regional improvement projects. If approved, some of the projects in the 2010 mobility bond program may include mobility infrastructure on I-35 between approximately William Cannon Drive and US-290 in coordination with the Texas Department of Transportation. Preliminary engineering for sidewalk and bicycle facilities on East Riverside Drive from approximately IH-35 to Ben White Boulevard. The boardwalk trail at Lady Bird Lake between Congress Avenue Bridge and Lakeshore Park, which would connect pedestrian and bicycle infrastructure between the east and the west sides of IH-35. Partnering with other transportation agencies to improve access to downtown Austin from Loop 1 Mopac. Improving pedestrian access to Allen Elementary School in the Johnston Terrace neighborhood. Preliminary engineering for future transportation infrastructure in the FM 969 corridor, East Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard between US 183 and the city of Weberville. <laughs> Designing roadway infrastructure for future construction on South Congress Avenue at William Cannon Drive in coordination with TxDOT. Near-term traffic management infrastructure on US 290 at the Oak Hill Y. For more information on the proposed mobility bond proposition, visit www.cityofaustin.org forward slash news forward slash mobility bond dot htm. The election will be held Tuesday, November 2nd, 2010. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Early voting for the November 2010 elections will be conducted October 18th through the 29th. Visit cityofaustin.org for more voter information, including early voting locations and election day polling places.